welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to be showing you how to install my sql server on your android device and i'm also going to be showing you you know simple commands or simple prompts that are being used on my sql how to use them and what they mean so make sure you watch this video till the end so that you don't miss out on any part of this and see exactly how this is done okay and if you're new to this channel we upload videos on linux tutorial ethical hacking and programming if you're interested in this niche make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you'll be notified whenever we upload another video let us get started so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to update your tamox packages all right now you do that with the pkg updates command okay so um after updating tamox packages we're going to proceed to the installation of my sql server all right to install my sql you're going to use the command pkg install mari adp okay m-a-r-i adp now after installing my sql server if you try starting my sql server with the my sql command it is not going to start okay so what you're going to do is you're going to start my sql database server in a save mode as the root user okay and you're going to be doing that with the command chain on your screen right now so that command is going to start the database server once it has been launched you need to exit that page so to do that just click ctrl z on your keyboard okay now that that has been done you can now start my sql with the my sql command all right now that my sql has been started if you type the show database command as you can see show databases as you can see in our database we have the information schema and test okay so we're going to be working with tests now if you have to type use test okay use test colon as you can see um we are now in the test database <coughs> now if we if we try showing tables as you can see if we show tables it says we have an empty set so we're going to create a table now we're going to create an emp table now to create that table you're going to be using the create table command okay and we want to create an EMP table. So um, this means employee table. And um, the EID, which is the employee ID, is we're going to set the um, number of characters to be 10. Then in name, which is the employee name, we're going to set the maximum length of characters to 20. Okay. And then we're going to create a third variable, which is going to be the um, subscribers. Okay. <clears throat> And we're going to let the maximum um, character of that also we're going to set that to 10 okay and that has been done we're going to click on enter okay now it has been set so after creating this table now to show this table as you can see if we click on show table you can see that we now have an emp table right there okay so if we type the describe command which is the describe emp and we click on enter all right you're going to see that in the field we have eid which is employee id employee name and subscribers okay and you can see um the maximum length of characters there so that is how you do that right so if we have to insert values inside this table now <clears throat> so we're going to use the command insert into emp values all right so the id value of course is going to be one and the id name we're going to name it um basin tech and then in the subscribers this thing how many subscribers the base does base in tech as as of today 3300 subscribers right so i'm going to also include that 3300 okay and we're going to you know close that right and you're going to click on enter so um by doing this what we have done is we have added value okay to the um, emp table we have added a first value to the emp table and if you can if we check um the value now as you can see you can now see that we have an employee id one an employee name based in tech and we have um subscribers which is 3300 subscribers in your case it can be salary right employee salary okay so um let us insert other values into this particular you know into this particular table now insert value two so um value two we're going to insert mr beast okay mr beast and um his subscribers he has about 100 million subscribers now so you're going to insert that 100 million subscribers now remember normally this is supposed to be salary okay 
so um if we check that now you're going to see that we, are, we now have mr oh, i duplicated mr beast let me delete that okay let me delete the value three i'm going to delete that so to delete a particular value you're going to use that command chain on your screen right now okay so let us create an id3 how many fans do we have uh do i want to name this fan actually zero no let me name it join okay join how many people has joined our channel okay zero nobody so that is going to be our value three and um the fourth value is how many people are going to comment on that this video okay i'm going to name that support all right let me assume maybe 100 people is going to find this video helpful and they're going to support us by commenting and sharing this video so let's say 100 okay so if we check um the value in the emp table again as you can see we now have the value one two three and four which is based in tech mr beast joint and support three thousand three hundred million zero and hundred so that is how you add value to an emp table okay so now that that has been done the next thing you're going to be seeing is you're going to be seeing how to you know check the maximum salary minimum salary sum average and count of a particular id okay so to do that you're going to be using the select command select mass subscribers okay select mass subscribers from emp okay in your case it will be salary who earns the maximum salary amongst you know your employee you're going to see it is mr beast with 100 million subscribers okay then who earns the minimum all right there is um the joint nobody has joined our channel so zero that is the one with the minimum and um if you check the sum of everything you can see so that, this is just an explanation okay so this is how you do these things this is just the simple command you use for this thing right <clears throat> And if you're check, if you're to check the average, you're going to use that command. And um, if you're to check, you know, the count, if you're to count how many people you're paying salary, okay, it is going to tell you. As you can see there, it says four. And if you check, we actually created four values. So that is how you do that. Now, if you're to update a particular value in the EMP, you know, in the EMP table, okay, you're going to be doing that with this command chain on your screen right now. As you can see, so. If I was to use the update EMP, set subscribers, which in your case will be salary, okay? Set salary. You want to set, maybe you want to change the salary of a particular person, okay? So let us assume I want to change the subscribers of um, best in tech. You're going to change the subscriber, then it's equal, to, it's equal to subscribers, okay? Plus, how many more subscribers do you want to add? How much salary do you want to add to this employee salary? So let me assume that I want to add 7,000 subscribers, all right? You're going to add 7,000 subscribers and then you're going to specify the particular, you know, ID you want to, you know, you want to increase their salary. So in my case, it is based in tech, which is the ID one. And you're going to close that command. Now, remember, based in tech has 3,300 subscribers here. And as you can see, it has been changed. If we check again, as you can see, based in tech now has 10,300 subscribers, right? So if you are to, this is how you change, you know, um, a particular, you know, um, value in an ID, right? Now that we have done that, um, the next thing you're going to, I'm going to show you is how to delete, you know, a particular value from your, you know, from your table. So I, I have done this earlier in the video, but I fast forwarded it so you might not see it. So um, to delete a particular value, you're going to use the command delete from which table are you deleting this value from? So you're deleting it from the EMP table in our case here, where ID equals to 2. You're going to specify the ID. As you can see now, the ID 2, which is the Mr. Beast ID, has been deleted from the list of you know, values that I have there. All right. So we now have 1, 3, 4. 2 has been deleted. So this is how you do this. And to exit, you can just simply use the exit command and you're going to close it, okay? To start my SQL again, as long as you are started in a safe server, in a safe mode, you're just going to use the MySQL command, okay? To show databases, you're going to use the show databases command. And um, to navigate into a particular database, you will use the use command, okay? So in my case, as you can see, use test, okay? Now that you're now in the database, to show the tables in the, that database, you're going to use the show tables command, okay? 
show tables and that is going to show you the tables in that particular database all right and um to see the you know the the things in that particular table you're going to use the describe command which is in my case describe emp which is going to describe the emp table for you and to see the values of a particular table you know you're going to use the select command which is select star if you want to see all the values just use star from emp from the particular table okay always make sure you close your command all right and as you can see it is going to show you the values in that particular table okay which in my case is one three and four based in tech join and support so this is how you install and use my sql server on an android device okay if you found this video helpful please support me by clicking the subscribe button commenting and sharing this video okay um thanks for watching i'll see you all in the next video